Let's talk about the rebranding. What was the core motivation behind the rebranding from MakerDAO to Sky, and how does this align with the goals outlined uh, for the end game plan? Yeah, so really, I mean, the, so the main thing is that Sky is about making the benefits of DeFi really simple and then bringing them to the user so that anybody can easily access the benefits, right? And it turns out that after basically working on this for almost seven years with a live stablecoin in, in Maker, uh, the, the, the really clear use case is use a decentralized stablecoin to make the best and easiest place to get rewarded for saving. And so that's what USDS brings to the table. So really, the rebrand is about a product focus on the stablecoin itself and the, and the savings functionality of USDS. And then because that is the core focus of the entire system when it comes to how it should be perceived by users, then all of the rest of the branding, the user experience, the app, uh, Sky.Money, that also just launched uh, 18 hours ago, uh, all of that is just focused around letting users get rewarded for saving without having to be some kind of technical genius, but just anyone should be able to access DeFi and get the best savings rate available in the ecosystem. And also the cool new innovative feature of Sky, which are the native token rewards that are built into the Sky protocol and that are also now available on Sky.Money. Uh, can you explain how the introduction of USDS and Sky tokens will impact the current and new users of the protocol and what advantage, advantages do they offer over uh, DAI and Maker? Yeah, so the really important thing about the upgrade to Sky is that DAI and MKR will remain as they are today. So existing users that don't want things to change, they, don't, they won't be disturbed basically. Instead, it's the purely like an extension of the protocol that offers some new features, and then people who want those new features can choose to upgrade their DAI to USDS or upgrade their MKR to Sky. And when you upgrade MKR to Sky, you get one uh, to 24,000, so 24,000 Sky per MKR. Uh, and the idea is to sort of, I mean, so basically the core protocol, MKR and DAI is very popular amongst DeFi OGs, and it, you know, it's the most popular decentralized stablecoin, and, and you know, everyone in the space loves it and, and uses it, and that should continue to be that way. But with USDS, the goal is to sort of, you know, bridge the gap to a broader audience and take the benefits of DeFi that are just so amazing now, right? It's such a mature, such a value-creating industry, and it needs to be brought to the mass market. And USDS is just a better format to do that. Uh, and also, what's really cool is what we're seeing is, uh, I mean, it's been live for 18 hours now. There's already 240 million USDS uh, that has been upgraded. And interestingly enough, it's almost all net new inflows. So it's actually not so much that existing DAI users are upgrading, but rather that there's a, like completely new users entering the ecosystem and taking advantage of the benefits of USDS in particular, the native token rewards, where you actually can get the Sky token as a reward just for holding USDS with the Sky protocol and on Sky the money.